Or am I not supposed to use this much? <laughs> That could be the argument, you know? That could truly be the argument. Let's get into this hair, okay? Cause this is giving yaki silk press realness. And I love this. I recently did a campaign with Love Me Hair on IG. And if you're not following me there, make sure you're following me on IG. I'll link this hair below in case you're just gagging over it. I love it. We are gonna jump in and try some things that I have not tried. I have so many products that just need to go on my face. So let's get some of them on right now. And don't you just love how this is giving, it's a side part. All I did was put foundation here, my bronzer, which is the KBD situation. I put that here and that's it, girl. I laid down my edges and here goes the wig. Let's start off with this Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I literally got this in the mail today. And I know that I've used this a long time ago. It's been a while. So comment and let me know if you have used this. In fact, I need to take off the wrapper. Let's see this on the skin <laughs> is that too much we gonna find out okay i remember this back when i was a makeup artist like i used to use this on my clients you feel me and i don't recall if this was any good but we're gonna find out i can feel the silicone it does feel like this layer of smoothness on the face for sure one thing to know about a primer like this is that since it claims to smooth and blur the skin do not expect a primer like this to control oil or to make you hydrated it may just keep you the same way your face always is you know what i'm saying it's tackling or it's claiming to tackle something specific which is rough skin and pores okay not, not clinically but you get what i'm saying as far as like as far as how the skin is supposed to look after this is all said and done i have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Superstar Youth Glow Foundation. This is the shade eight. I've never used this. I don't even know. I got this recently, so it must be new. Oh, it has a wand inside. That shocked me. This is not a foundation. This is not a, what is this? Is this a concealer? Hold on. Why am I confused? What is this? It's called Hollywood Flawless Filter. Isn't this a, it doesn't say foundation. So what is it? <laughs> this is definitely a $49 foundation. <laughs> Why can't y'all tell us on the bottle that it's a foundation? Got me out here all confused for no, all confused for no reason. Here we go. Oh, this looks just like my skin. Do you see that? Oh, uh -huh. and it's supposed to give a glow. Wait, there's not enough coming off. Okay, I'm, I'm a little, an what? Okay, I'm annoyed by how there isn't a lot coming off on the wand. Why do I have to do this so many times just to get the product on my face? Have you tried this? This is irritating. The color looks fantastic, but why do I have to do this? This is atrocious. Or am I not supposed to use this much? <laughs> That could be the argument, you know? That could truly be the argument. I'm gonna use this Say Beauty foundation brush that I used in a different video for the actual Say Beauty foundation or this, the, the complexion product. You might argue that I put on too much. <laughs> Ooh, now this is matching the middle of my face beautifully. So beautifully that it's not matching the perimeter of my face. See how I stopped short of my hairline because number one, we don't want it to be caked up over there. And number two, it's a different shade. For God's sake, it's closer to the sun. You feel me? So it's just darker and it's natural that way. And it's just not gonna match. But this matches the middle of my face very lovely. This is giving medium coverage. See how it's covering my brows or not so much. I mean, you can still see my micro Oh, it's a light coverage product. I'm looking right now. Light coverage product for normal is for all kinds of skin tone. Okay, I feel what you saying. Oh, okay. Light coverage. You know I don't do light coverage. <laughs> You know, I don't be doing that. You feel me? Like, that ain't what I like, you know? And the shade is way too close. Wow. If this was the case, I should have kept my eyebrows on. Because you know I do my, <laughs> my microblading brows. And then I have my makeup brows. But since this is low, co like, coverage, I could have kept my microblading brows. I'm going to find somewhere to sit down. Are we seeing the texture of the foundation? I need to shave. <laughs> It's giving a nice radiant finish, but do I like this? No, because I don't like a light coverage product. However, if you like a good light coverage radiant finish product, I like this one thus far. Let's move on to concealer. I actually needed to re-up on some concealers. This is the KBD Concealer TN177. It's the shade, and this 
sponge. I honestly don't even know where it's from. <laughs> I just had it in the stash. So let's go ahead and use something we know while mixing it in with things that we are not familiar with, like this foundation, you feel me? Blending it backward. See how I was blending it up into this point, and then I was trying to smooth out any potential harsh lines, okay? Doing the same on this side, leaving this area to stay for a sec while we blend the outer part of this concealer, because then we're gonna come back to the front of the nose area to further blend. I want that to dry a little bit. You could take your handy dandy handheld fan, you feel me? And speed this process up a little bit if you're feeling so froggy. Or just do that, cause you ain't got time. And then go ahead and come right to the front, you okay? And then the butt of this sponge to further blend out any harsh lines. Now we're gonna come back to the under eye area because naturally I have creasing under my eyes and it's going to crease because I have rested my face and I am talking to you. Now this concealer is not gonna look as light on my face as it normally does because what? If you've been here then you already know. This foundation matches my skin so closely that the concealer is not gonna look as light as it normally does, okay? And that's what happens. If this foundation were darker, which is what I like to do because when I do it all and it comes it just all comes together if you've been here you get it and if you don't I'm telling you right now then this concealer would look a lot lighter because it's going up against a darker color now I'm not here to fight about using a foundation that doesn't match me or is too dark that's what I like and when it comes together it comes together okay blending all of this out obvi And I like to use the butt of the sponge because up until this point, it was the cleanest part of the actual sponge. And now let's contour. You have seen me use this in a recent video. This is the Say Natural Cream Bronzer in the shade Dark Bronze. And I don't know why this looks so chewed up, but it looks chewed up, baby. This is the Sephora 56 brush. And we gonna dip this right up in here in the area where clearly the contour should go. But if you don't know, the cheekbone and then the jawline, that area that really was created through the highlight is where you would isolate out and and apply the contour product. And I always love a good nose contour, honey. So right here on the side. And with this product, it is buildable enough that I can dip my brush right into it and then apply it to my nose. But with a lot of others, I do not ever do this because the color would be so dark that this would look a mess. But this is buildable. If you contour your nose, comment and let me know, baby, because I don't care what anybody says. I'm gonna be doing this, okay? I like to do it. That's what I like to do. And I like to do what? What I like to do. And you should do what? What you like to do, you feel me? <laughs> Wiping off the brush on the paper towel in front of me to now soften this out a little. It's all gonna come together really as I work on this. <laughs> Don't be alone right now, okay? We, we have places to go, okay? We're gonna work this out. You can take the butt of your sponge and do a little bit like that if you're feeling a little bit concerned and that did take things down a smidge. Now, wiping off the butt of this sponge some more because I want to blend out this line of demarcation right here, okay? But I don't wanna apply any product to my face accidentally. Doing the same for the forehead area. Watch my hand as I turn the sponge and then same here. We wanna avoid putting the contour with the concealer is and vice versa, all right? So now we shouldn't see any harsh lines. It should be nice and smooth like this, you hear me? And we gonna clean the finger because I have concealer all over it and we're gonna set the under eye area. It's been a while since I used this Huda Beauty Easy Bake setting powder. Let's use the shade Cinnamon Bun, but there's a different shade I used to use, which was more on the yellow side. This one is very cinnamon looking. We'll use it today. It's not going to highlight me the way that I want. And what I mean is I wanna make the under eye lighter than it is right now, and this is not gonna do that, but that's okay. We're gonna just use this right now. This is my Sephora 79 brush. The shade of this powder literally matches the shade of this concealer in a good way, all right? It's a good way. However, it's just not the way that I want right now because I want this highlight to be lighter. I just needed my foundation to be darker, but here we are and we are going to just work with what we have. Since this ain't making me light know how, I wanna try this NARS. This is from the Holiday Collection. I'm just now using it. This is the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. It is white. I'm gonna use the pad that comes in it because I don't wanna mix this with a brush that has product on it already. And let's see how this does on my face in the other areas where I have concealer. And I'm gonna just be pressing it right now because this is a pad, not a brush, you feel me? And let's just set 
at this and see what it does. Like my issue with using these pads is when you go back in like I am right now, I'm putting oil onto this pad. And what will end up happening is it'll get this cakey film on top and it's so gross. I remember people used to bring their products into Mac wanting something like, let's say they wanted to show us what they have to buy something else. And I would just see so much caked up product on their compacts, it was insane. And these were older women who did not know. You know, I feel like they're they're the ones in the compact era. They don't, they're not familiar with the brushes. They use the compacts that come inside of stuff. And it's just like, yo, this is why I don't do compacts. But here we are. And it did set the face down in those areas. It's just, it's just, I'm never gonna do this again. <laughs> I was giving it a shot, but uh-uh. This ain't gonna work for me, you feel me? I need a brush, okay? 59 brush from Sephora. This is the Patrick, which one is it? Which Patrick is it? Made for Shade, Deep Trio, Patrick Sta. Mm-hmm, that one. In the middle, we're gonna use this to deepen this contour a little bit. The contour, in my opinion, does not need to be set per se, because it's okay, in my opinion, for it to be a little bit dewy. But I like to deepen it up, and that's why I use a different product to do so. While it deepens it up, it's going to set it off. Now, I definitely need to get under the chin because this shade of foundation is lighter than my neck. Like, do you see that? Mm-mm. Not gonna work. <laughs> Honestly and truly, this is the point of the face where I would put on a face powder, which would bring the whole face together because the different shades and things, but because this matches me so well, I'm hesitant to put on a face powder. So what I am going to do is, I'm gonna try this NARS powder all over the face a little bit, just to like, just to set things a little bit. Hold on, let's see something. All right, I cleaned off this brush and I'm gonna dip it into, this is the Say brush. I'm gonna dip it into here and see what's I go on. See what this is going to do for the kid. You feel me? Okay. It's just gonna like tone it down a little. Oh, it's a little questionable. You might think this looks fantastic. What do you think? Comment and let me know. Just going over where I would have gone over with a face powder. This is giving very natural right now. If you like how natural my face looks right now. <sighs> Comment to let me know. I know for me, I need this to be darker. Like I don't even see my contour. Like, hold on, hold on. I do not use this last shade down here because this is so deep, but today I need it. I mean, this, I can't see my contour the way I feel like I need to see it. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not fantastic, but <laughs> it's a little better, you know? And then let's get the top of the nose a little better, just right here, okay? Right up in here does make a difference, okay? To highlight, we're gonna use this Rare Beauty Flaunt Pressed Highlighter in the butt of the sponge, wiping it on the table a bit and then pouncing the sponge onto it. Right at the top here. We're gonna come back to that, okay? Right here. Here, right here, pinch it and go right down the nose and then come back here. What I was trying to do is get some product off before coming back to that area. And here we are on this side. Wowzers, yes, we see this highlighter, honey. Do we or do we not see the highlighter? Right here is popping and I like it like that. I really, really do. Oop, the chin is looking a little suspect. Yo, me not having on a face powder is now becoming a problem because <laughs> the chin would never look like that under other circumstances. Let me see what this brush gonna do. The face powder adds color to this as well, you know? Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together a little bit, okay? Now, we gotta do our cheek color. Milk has given us some bionic blushes, right? Bionic blush. This is teleport and this is fly. I'm feeling fly because my face feels very orange already. So let's do fly. I am a little nervous because creams can be dangerous. Ooh, we got some separation going on, but that's normal. Let's give this a mix on the back of the hand. It's looking a little more sheer than I expected. So it's on the back of the hand. I'm nervous. Should I do my finger to put it on my face or what? Or the sponge? Let me do the finger because what if the sponge goes wrong? Oh, this is very sheer. Oh no. Oh, what are we doing with this? This is very sheer. Let me do the butt of the sponge now. This is 
I can barely see it. This is reminding me of that Charlotte Tilbury thing. This is very, you ain't got nothing on. I used this a while ago. If I recall correctly, I've used this before and I can barely see this. Wow. If you like a light face, light everything, you feel me? Then this is for you. But I like to see my stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not six. I want to see my, my blush. You feel me? <laughs> wow. Okay, and it's got a glow to it too. I mean, it's not horrendous. It's definitely for you. If you like a natural look, I feel like this look just needs a clear lip gloss that has a flavor to it. And then I gotta go find somewhere to sit down. That is what I feel like this look is giving. It's giving corner store lip gloss and go find somewhere to sit, okay? Wow. I've got a new brow pencil from Lawless. This is the Soft Fill Shape Up brow pencil, you feel me? We got the brush on this side. So let's brush these brows. You know these these are my micro bladed slash natural brow. And then when I do my makeup, I like for it to look different. This thing is fat, it's chubby. I don't be using a chubby pencil for my brows, but let's see what this gonna do. Okay, let's get the front real softly. I heard, it made me think of killing me softly. I heard he sang a good song. He had a style. I'm actually enjoying this bra, this uh brow pencil. What do you think? With this song. Oh, oh. I'm trying to wipe it off because I had a piece of hair on it. <laughs> I felt all flush with fever in there. With what? What words? Without a doubt. I felt he found my letters in a look. Wait, in red. Each one aloud, I'll pray that he would finish, but he just kept right on, strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, hey, yeah, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. With his song telling my whole life with his word wait, is it yeah, tell my whole life with his words killing me softly. Oh girl, we singing lullabies, right? Ooh. <laughs> this thing came apart. I'm like, what what happened to my brow? Wow. I was in a brow pencil. Ah, I did not know yes, uh, Why are you all doing that? Mm? Okay, I like how this is going on, but it's because this is so chubby, it's just disorienting me a bit because I normally bring this down more, which I'm fixing right now. It's just disorienting me because it's so fat, but I do like how it is applying. But you know, I'm used to, I'm a creature of habit, you feel me? I need things for the most part to just stay the way they freaking are, okay? To clean under the brow, we're gonna do NARS concealer in the shade Amand. Normally by itself, Amand is too light, but this foundation is so light that this is gonna be perfect. If I were to mix it, it wouldn't show as much as I would like for it to show. I at least need one something to pop and this highlighted brow is going to give me what my heart desires. <laughs> Cause this face is just not popping the way I need it. It's looking way too natural. And I honestly don't know where I've been, but I've recently been using my sponge to blend out my brow bone concealer and it is so good. Y'all been doing this for so long and I just started doing this. I'm so used to using my finger or a brush, right? And so I've been doing this and I'm like, I don't want now. This cream is acting a fool cause I've never done it with the cream. I normally do it with a liquid, found, a liquid concealer, so. <laughs> This is giving a whole lot more coverage than I expected. Let's use the finger. And this is the thing. You use the finger, it just melts, and then you can change your finger to further blend things out. Cleaning my finger off, changing hands, obviously, and now going here. Now we are gonna take some of this bronzer right here, which is what I always do anyway, just so that this back part doesn't look so harsh and light. And this, this whole face is just ticking me off right now. I am ticked off, okay? If you've been here, then you know that this is very tickery. Tickery is when it is on the tick off scale. And this is really ticking me off right now because this is not the way that I like for my face to look and good thing, the only thing I'm doing after this is going to the carpool line. If I had a full day of filming ahead of me, 
I would not be happy. <laughs> I am so irritated because I'm just not a fan of what's happening. I'm trying to convince myself that I am. I'm trying to convince myself that this is okay, but it really isn't. Okay, to base my eyeshadow, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Nice light color, you feel me? I'm not gonna take a lot of this because you don't really have to. I'd be real heavy handed and I recognize that, you know? And this right here is a great thing to use to avoid that creasing that naturally happens between the creases of your eyes from oil, okay? This is going to make sure that that does not happen. Do you also use this? This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have to clean this brush. I just did it and I should have showed you, but it had makeup on it. <laughs> and now I am cleaning this off so that it can be clean. It's fast drying. It does have fragrance to it. So if you're allergic to fragrance, you're not going like this, but it is fast drying. And then I test it on my hand, make sure that it's not wet and it smells like vanilla and alcohol, to be honest, all right? I'm gonna use this Huda Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This looks so cute. Look at these colors, so good. Let's start off with this reddish brown. This reminds me of the Obsessions Palette. Just love it, okay? And these are all mattes. The Obsessions Palette, it had some shimmers in it, in it, if you recall. So this reddish brown or reddish orange color is going right here in the crease. Very haphazardly, as you can see. I'm just used to this, so I'm just doing it quickly. But get this right into your crease area, and then we're gonna fade it into the brow bone area, because you do want it to blend as seamlessly as oh, that's the problem. I'm looking like, why does my makeup look like this? I forgot to set my brow bone highlight. I'm in rare form today. I just cleaned this brush a little bit and I'm taking this NARS situation to set this. No wonder, I'm like, why is it sticking to my brow bone? Because it was wet. <laughs> if you do that, if you apply eyeshadow to a wet concealer, I mean, I know some of y'all do that. I'm not used to that. It just doesn't, your brush is not gonna move like it needs to, you feel me? So there's that. Let's try this again with that reddish brown because when you go over this area, it just won't, the brush won't move like it needs to. And now we are moving. Underneath the eye, this is this a 414 brush. And this is the same color, putting it right underneath and connecting it right here into this outer area. I'm gonna choose this color. It's a lightish peach, orange, not really sure type shade and put this, oh. Oh, this is actually really pretty. I should have used a flat brush for this. <laughs> the pigment is a lot better than I expected. This is gorgeous. This is really pretty. Oh, I like this palette, hold on. I need to put this in my suitcase. Cause although I do a natural look when I am traveling, sometimes I be wanting to do a little something, something. And this would be a great palette to do that with. All links to all products will be below, FYI, as always. This looks pretty, pretty, pretty. Now this is lifting up the look. <laughs> The complexion, not my favorite. This is lifting it up, you know? Now let's isolate out this crease with a darker brown shade. And I love to take that darker color that I use in the crease and put it right underneath my eye right here. A nice, soft, smoky effect. Okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> Now I'm excited, now I'm awake. Before I was uh, asleep, okay? <laughs> Hi. All right, and we do have a brown eyeliner from Give Beauty. We are gonna go ahead and put this right, you know what I'm saying? Right here on the top, that's cute. Keeping with this whole brown theme, we don't need to kill it with black eyeliner, you know? That's unnecessary today. And you know, I don't be doing that wing and stuff. It's just too much. I ain't got time for all of that. And you could do a little smudge on the edge or just leave it, you feel me? My lashes are so thick anyway, it doesn't even matter. On the inner eye, we do need black eyeliner. Or you could do gold, you could do something different, but let's go ahead and do black today. This will complement the lashes in the mascara. This is the Milk Color Chalk, which I love using right here in the tear duct. The shade is Hopscotch. I need some more blush. I can't function this way. This is not gonna work for me. Let's put on top of all of this the House Labs Acai Sky because I just, I just can't. I can't see. Uh-huh. Now we are talking. <laughs> now I can see something. 
men. It's two of them. I mean, I just need something to give. You feel me? Like, no, I feel like I, I'm going somewhere. I need to feel painted up. I need to feel like a painting. If I don't feel like a painting, something is wrong, okay? I like that. All right, let's try this big timer volumizing mascara from the lip bar. What is you saying, girl? Let's find out. That's cute. Drugstore, black owned business, mascara. How you doing? You know, I still love my tried and true mascara from Lawless for the bottom lashes, but this is cute for the top, you feel me? Okay, I'm prepping my lashes with my Kiss INV Super Strong Hold Glue. And these lashes are the ones I always wear, honey. AliExpress, less than $3, linking everything, including these below. So make sure you open that description box up on your phone or on your computer. And here's the Lawless One and Done Mascara for the bottom lashes. I'm giving you that close up, okay? Okay, and here's a new lip liner I have from LH Cosmetics. I have not heard of this, I don't think ever. And I don't know the shade of this. Let's see, I don't see a name. Mm -hmm. No clue what the name is, but it's giving brown and it looks like a brown plum. Okay, it's more on the plum side. <laughs> that's okay, not what I wanted, but that's okay. And then on the inside, here's a new lipstick that I have from LYS Beauty. My goodness gracious, this is a slim stick lipstick called Dreamer. Wow, you can barely read this stuff. This is really a pretty color. Let's see how this is gonna go with this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it ain't offsetting the plum the way I need it to. You feel me? If this was brown, we would be doing something, but this, tan situation <laughs> well cute. okay as i'm blending it into the purple it's almost it's a, it's a cool shade of pink almost tan it's bringing it and making it more ombre so you see how it's giving purple and then a little bit of pink and then a light light color so it's helping it's helping so in this case let me bring more of the purple in by blending it some more as you can see making it work okay we are making this work right now all right here we are with the finished look let me know what you think in the comments below all links are also below in the description box and i will see you in the next video bye